everyone, today we're going to be making a wrist corsage, a little bit different project than what I'm uh, used to putting out there, but I wanted to go ahead and tape it just so that, um, or record it so that you would, um, you know, just something different to do, and not that hard, but it does take a little bit of time as far as where to place everything, so let me just show you the supplies that I have. And I am not a, an expert at this, but these were the corsages I made for our daughters for prom last year. They're artificial flowers, but, um, you know, for my first time, they turned out pretty good. So I'm doing it again for a friend's daughter, and um, we'll see how it turns out. So what you want to start out with is a piece of cardboard or some kind of base, which, is, which will hold all your flowers and so forth. So this is um, probably the thickness of like a cereal box. I had some extra just blank cardboard uh, here in the office, so I went ahead and cut it down to about this size. Let's see, this is about three inches by one and a half by three inches, and then I've just rounded the corners. All right, another thing you're going to need is elastic, and I'm not going to grab my piece I'm using because I actually painted it, but anyways, I got one inch braided elastic, and this is what I'm going to use to attach this with. You won't see the bottom of this, it's not the greatest looking, but you're not going to see it, so I really don't care what it looks like. So we'll attach the elastic um, when we're finished with the um, the corsage itself. You can actually buy um, online specifically um, pre-made bases to attach your corsage to, like the little slap bracelets. Um, they make those, they Anyways, they make pre-made bases with already the elastic or, you know, some kind of way to attach it to your wrist um, if you ever want to check that out and get those. But, you know, this was like two bucks for this whole thing and um, you can get a lot out of it. So, starting out with the cardboard, I have, the other supplies I have are some artificial flowers. I have these little filler Thing. She wanted me to do a white and silver. The dress is kind of like a, a slate blue, kind of like this color, um, but she wanted white and silver, so we're going to go with that for the most part, but I wanted to throw in just a little bit of this ribbon to give it some color, so we're going to do that. Uh, so we have the flowers. I picked off, picked off some leaves from my artificial flowers and you know once you pick them off the stem I actually you can cut them down because as you'll see as we glue the flowers to the base you don't really need a lot of extra stem or anything like that so don't be afraid to chop chop and hack on your artificial flowers um, flowers here what I've done was like I said we were going for a white and silvery kind of base or color scheme so I actually took Let's see, for these lighter ones here, I took some alcohol and I took some, let me get it, Pearl X, it's antique silver, um, Pearl X pigments, and I put some of this in a little spray bottle with some alcohol and I sprayed it on these flowers to make them kind of shimmery, they've got kind of a silvery gray look, and um, those will be nice, and sometimes the Oh, these powders have a tendency to kind of rub off on your fingers, and this still might a little bit, but to seal this off, what I do is I just get some cheap hairspray and just kind of seal it with some hairspray, not a lot, just to, you know, just lightly spray it, and that kind of helps um, alleviate some of that sparkly stuff coming off on your hands and everything else. So that's for the lighter color ones. On these here, now these all started out... I don't know if I have an original one or not. Yeah. Well, even like this here. I had some of these little rose roses left over, which is what I used. So they all started out this white color. And this here, I actually took some aluminum spray paint. And I spray painted these flowers and this little bunch here. I spray painted a few of these um, little. I put them in a, you know, like a shoe box and just kind of um, lightly applied some spray paint to them. And that's how they got to be that silvery color. I also spray painted some of these leaves, as you can see on the other side. You're not going to see the underside, so I'm not spraying those. But um, basically, you know, that was just some of the flowers off of the, um, the artificial flower stems that I have. So I got 
one big rose. I asked her if she wanted a rose or a daisy for the main part of the corsage, and she said rose. So I got the rose. Some of these little bitty um, rhinestone stems here. I got them out of the like the wedding aisle at Hobby Lobby. Some varieties of ribbon. This is like a sheer white with some pearl edging. This is a shimmery silvery gray and then again our blue satin ribbon. So we're going to put everything together, see how it looks, and then if we need to fill in some spots we will. But everything's going together with the glue gun and I'm going to kind of look at these as my templates so I don't forget, um, you know, I kind of have some kind of guide to go with. So, all right, here we go.
time back. So the more I got to look at it, uh, looking at it, there was just this, these two sides right here seemed really blank and empty. So I had actually sprayed some of the smaller leaves with the metallic aluminum spray paint. So I'm going to sneak them in here in the back so that um, these little empty spaces will have just a little bit more filler. But other than that, after I glue those on, it'll be done. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.